Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Lane, and we are here at the 2021 Wings Over Haiti. And I'm here with a big supporter tonight. She's going to introduce herself to the camera. How are you? Thank you for having me. My name is Jill Weingarten, and very excited about this evening's event. I created a program 11 years ago called the Buddy Program, and you have the chance to sponsor a child for an entire year at our school in Haiti, one of our two schools in Haiti, both schools in Haiti, and uh, education and food and medical um, treatments, and it's a great, and they're upbeat, happy kids, and all they need is a little help, and it's a great event to make sure they are sustained for the next year. So come and look at all the different kids, and we'll hook you up with the right ones for you to sponsor. So anyway, I'm really happy. Yes. Thank you for having us. And tell my audience, how long have you had these two schools? Um, I think Jonathan started the schools about 12, whenever the, mm, I, I would say 11 or 12 years ago. 11 and 12 years ago. But you're, you're trying to add a new wing now yes, to the school. Yes, yes. Tell he us about that. Tell us actually, about Actually, I'm not the right person to ask about that. He has to tell he has to tell us. I'm all about getting these kids fed and educated and clothed and healthy. That's me. Can you tell us a little bit more about the programs of the school? Just, I'm not really sure about the school. I'm only... Um, sure about my particular program which is the buddy program the buddy, program. buddy program which people here or all over the country or all over the world can sponsor a child in our schools in Haiti so we're paying we're paying to support them for interesting yeah. it's called the buddy program where how did you come up with that name I, I just uh, I just wanted to make it something we, we wanted to make it something really positive as opposed to like you know sad sad stories like let's be buddies let's be buddies it's and so, it's so hard in that country with the education and it's all. a tough country but you know we're trying to keep it a positive message and these kids need us and they got us and they're gonna they're gonna we're gonna they're gonna do their best if we do so we're really happy about the program it's been very successful so tell my audience where can we learn more information about the buddy program the buddy where can program we go on the um, on the wings over Haiti website just uh, wingsoverhaiti.net. .net, yes, and they um, have uh, the donate page, but uh, you know you could donate and specify you wanted to go to the Buddy program, or you can write to write to the uh, to the Wings Over Haiti and ask them for more information about the Buddy program and specifically. We'll send you all the information about the kids and what we're looking to do with them. So, you know, you could just donate and it'll go there, or you can get more information by ask, reaching out to the. Um, organizers and they'll send you a whole packet and it's very well organized so sounds fabulous right, come on let's get this party and going we will be back in a moment with more interviews right here at wings over haiti keep watching darlings come to the airport let's air kiss Mwah. Mwah. come to the east hampton airport let's party pig champagne kisses Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Lane, Wings Over Haiti 2021. 
right here at the East Hampton Airport, and I'm here with another big supporter of this event. Introduce yourself to the camera. Hi, I'm, I'm Ed Krug, big supporter of Wings Over Haiti, yes. Tell my audience how you became involved and how you found out about Wings Over Haiti. Uh, we know Coco, my husband and I know Coco and Arthur. My husband is an artist and he's had art in this auction many times. So, you know, we know about it through them. Except the yard auction is just amazing. All those paintings are just unbelievable. I know. I know. There, are, there are a number of them that I want to bid on tonight. Well, you should. Don't, try, don't outbid me on them. I won't outbid you. I won't outbid you. So tell my audience why you think this organization is so important. Right. You know, I think we all really have to give back. I think we all, particularly out here in the Hamptons, know how privileged we are and the, the kind of lives that we have. And, you know, I think we, you know, we, we need to really look out for other people who are less fortunate than us. And Haiti is a particular example of a place that's been through a lot. Oh my God, absolutely. I think they even just lost their president, didn't they? They did, yes, they did. So it's really important for us to give back and to support support this and make sure that the, the next generation of Haitian children have a proper education, you know? I think what they're hoping for through this benefit is to for all of us to reach out and to support and maybe donate for another wing yeah. for the school. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So it's really all about building schools. Building yeah, schools. Building infrastructure for building schools. Building education yeah. for these youngsters yeah. that we want to change the world make it a better place exactly exactly that's exactly right so we're all supporting this event in every way that we can uh, my company which is called Hamptons HMPTNS Hamptons with no vowels is a CBD company uh, I mean, we produce hemp out here in the Hamptons you know create CBD from it and tonight we're actually serving cocktails CBD CBD in them right exactly and also selling selling our product and giving the proceeds to, to the cause as well. So you are a big sponsor of tonight's we're, event. We're Ace, we're, there are many people who have come together to put this together. We're only one of them, but we're very happy to, to be here. And I'm very happy to interview you and tell my audience that you are here to help and support. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Tell my audience, where can we go to learn more information? What is the website? What is Web your website? Right. The website is www hmptns.co co Hamptons .co. Yep. co exactly fabulous darling thank you Cognac. let's toast cbd cocktail thank you cheers thank you very much let's air kiss COVID friendly. Right, absolutely. And we'll be back in a moment with more interviews right here at Wings Over Haiti 2021. Pink champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Elaine, and we are here at the 2021 Wings Over Haiti event. It's right here at the East Hampton Airport. And I'm here with a sponsor of the event tonight. Introduce yourself to the camera. Uh, my name is Misao Grivas. So tell us about that you are sponsoring the water tonight. Uh, this is uh, the water, the 50% of the uh, cell, it goes to support. To support the, the youth. charity. Yeah, youth. Interesting. Now, tell my audience, how did you find out about this event tonight? Oh, actually, you know, uh, I'm a friend of the photographer and you know, who is supposed to taking a photo and then uh, yeah and what's the name of the water again uh, change, uh, change water. water quench your thirst to change change water I've never even heard of that brand uh, I think it's the uh, Soul Park who's the Grammy winner uh, who started this uh, organization interesting fascinating I love what you're wearing by the yeah. way tell explain to my audience what you're wearing it's uh, gorgeous. It's <laughs> Japanese, is, right? This You're is, Japanese. Yes, I am. Uh, this is called kimono, uh, I mean a yukata. Uh, the difference between yukata and kimono is one is silk, this is cotton. 
Interesting. So it's it's like a you know summer night kind of wear. You know, it's it's like apples and oranges. Yeah, it's like one is casual, one is you know more elegant. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, one this is like casual. This is non-casual. There you go. There you go. Well, I'm so happy that you're here to support this event tonight. And the pro part of the proceeds, a portion of the proceeds, will go towards the charity. Can you tell my audience how much of a portion of the proceeds will go? Fifty, fifty percent. Fifty percent. That's that's great. So, if we want to find out more information about this water, what's the website for this water? It's changewater.com. Beautiful, fabulous. Let's air kiss. We will be back with more interviews, darlings. Keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. Yeah. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Wallace and it swings over Haiti 2021 and I'm smoking a very sexy cigar and I'm here with this lady who is she is a big supporter of this event and I introduce yourself to the camera hi everyone I'm Mireille I'm with uh, New York Friends of Haiti New York Friends of Haiti So I tell, gotta fix that one, girl. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> so tell my audience why you are a big supporter of this event tonight. Well, the reason why I'm a big supporter of this event tonight is because of Wings Over Haiti. Um, education is something that's very rare in Haiti. And to educate the kids as much as we can, to change the society and to change the social structure of Haiti, um, is very important and dear to us with almost 98% of the country being illiterate and uneducated. Definitely. It's, we want to educate those young Haitians. We want to support the education system. It's so vital. It's so important. Tell us about this cigar. It's a, this is a fabulous cigar. I'm enjoying it. Well, the LFD is from the Dominican Republic. It is a full body Maduro cigar, meaning that is the most, one of the darkest leaves that you can find, and actually the sweetest leaf of cigars. It is a very satisfying feeling to smoke a cigar. Absolutely. My Italian father would be very upset. And my Italian grandfather, my Italian Sicilian grandfather would be extremely so upset that I was, my Italian grandfather used to smoke the, sm the smelliest Italian cigars you ever saw in your life. But my husband's family, they actually endorsed the cigar, the Garcia cigar. Gar right, Michael, Michael, your family endorsed the cigar. The cigar. Who owned the cigar? You are your family owned the cigar. Your uh, Garcia. Who is it? Who? Wow, that's amazing. Um, that's how his family got rich. <laughs> I mean, there's really nothing like a great cigar. Um, you know, I've been smoking for about 12 years, uh, cigars. And uh, it was always a relaxation thing, um, especially after a tough day of work um, or a stressful day. Um, I'd go to a nice cigar lounge and relax, and sometimes I'd be the only woman there relaxing, you know? Well, I must tell you, it's a very sexy experience, smoking a good cigar. Tell my audience why you wanted to support this organization tonight. Well, I will tell you the reason why I support, you know, as a, uh, a member of New York Friends of Haiti, um, we're very, very passionate about doing the work and helping the country of Haiti. Um, being Haitian myself, of Haitian descent, um, you know, I've seen a lot of the... 
unjust and the corruption and all the the things that the people have to fight through. Um, Poor president got murdered. Yes, unfortunately, Jovenel assassinated. Moise, yeah, Jovenel Moise was assassinated about a month ago, and uh, Haiti is in chaos right now. We're helping to keep the kids educated so they can change. They can change the way things are in Haiti. Yeah. Tell my audience, where can we go to find out more information about these cigars? I'm sorry? I Tell my audience where we can go to find out more information about these cigars. Oh, well, you can find out from me. Um, Mireille Eichart, M-I-R-E-I-L-L-E-I-C-A-R-T. Um, that is my Instagram handle. You can Instagram me there. Follow me there. And What's your name? Mireille. Spell it. M-I-R-E-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Gorgeous. Let's hear <laughs> and we'll be back in a moment, darling. So more interviews right here at Wings Over Haiti 2021. Big champagne kisses. Darlings, I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognette Rowley, and I'm here with designer Donna Karen. Should we all support this organization? There's nothing more important to me than my experience with Haiti. And the people here are, what they're doing is education. And if you think of the three aspects that we look at, it's preservation of culture, health care, and education. And the support here is for education, give kids schooling which is probably the most important thing, but then healthcare is, and they have doing, opened a school, and they're ready to open their second school right now. And that's why we're all here by the airport, raising money for Haiti. He started Wings Over Haiti, and uh, we wouldn't be here without him. Jonathan, you got the floor. Yes. Hello. Thank, thank you for coming. I think you would be here without me, but... <laughs> no. Your turn. Okay. First of all, I have to thank Arthur Bijour. He's the co-director of Wings Over Haiti, who does the lion's share of the work. Yesterday, we, we nicknamed him the King, King Arthur. So, whenever you see Arthur, thank him, because really, you know, I slip around, and this guy really gets it done, you know. So, thank you so much. So, I also want to tell you briefly how this thing originated. I flew down to Haiti in a Cessna, a small single-engine plane, in 2010 when big jets, jumbo jets, uh, filled with international uh, supplies and doctors could not get into Port-au-Prince. It was a mess. Uh, over a quarter of a million people died in 10 minutes and I was flying down to Florida and I said, wow, I think I can make a difference. So I flew all the way to Haiti. I got permission to come back into the United States. And I delivered medical supplies for 17 days, uh, slept in my plane, went wherever I could to help out. And it turns out they were doing amputations with uh, carpentry saws and without anesthesia. So I immediately got back in the plane, went everywhere, wherever I could to bring medical supplies to the rural areas. So I came back there, got some attention for it, but then I started, you know, have, building a community. And we decided that the best way to help Haitians and help the children is education. And we immediately started our first school, which is now thriving with over 215 kids, 25 faculty. It's independent, it's run by Haitians, and it has a board that self-sustains itself through what we have here, and we're starting for our second school called the Buddy Program. So I really want to encourage you all to go over and be buddies, fly solo, go in there, and support one of our kids. Uh, it's it's a, a real blessing if you do it. Uh, they get fed, uh, they get medical attention, and uh, and most of all, they get an education. And in our first school, we add a grade each year, and we anticipate they're going to college. They go home, they sleep on dirt floors, there's no electricity, but they're speaking English 
French and Creole in our first school. And the second school now with 51 children, we're going to expand that to 400 children in the near future with your help. So I really want to encourage you to become a buddy, then go to the, go to the art show and realize that 53 artists have donated their work for free and that all the money that you use to buy some art is going to go to helping the lives of children. So that's what I'm going to encourage. And now I just want to briefly go through before Donna comes up. Donna's going to talk about her experience, which is great in Haiti. She's very productive and really uh, knows the heart of Haiti very well. And I'm really, actually, why don't you come up now? I can't thank her enough. So I want to thank the honorary chairs. And then I, just bear with me for a second. I want to, Besides Arthur, I want to thank Magali, who's with me, uh, Al and Trip Tough, Coco Myers for Folio East, Debbie Tuma, who's been with us for 11 years, uh, Ken Furing, amazing, Jill Weingarten, who started the Buddy program, and, and we have to thank her so much, John and Amy Wickersham, Catherine Sly, who's been here relentlessly for four days. I mean, I, this, I don't know how this event could have happened without her. Uh, Virginia Edwards, Judy McDowell, uh, Helen Cleland from Purist Magazine, Nick Gregory, who's been a really a good buddy and arranged with the bar uh, to get everything going like nonstop over the past few days. Uh, Stacy Courtney, uh, Christine Rupp, uh, David Allen, the 55 artists, and all the volunteers and all the sports and all of you that bought tickets. Thank you so much. Woo! Yes. I have to tell you, we all are aware of philanthropy and you're asked constantly to please give money. Uh, I started in philanthropy, what is that? Oh, that's a, that's a plane. Okay, so I can't make it over a plane. Plane's gonna make it over me. That, it's a wing over Haiti. Okay, it's on its way. But I was introduced to Haiti uh, during the earthquake. I was blown, blown away. President Clinton says, Donna, you've gotta go to Haiti. And I said, where is Haiti? And I found out it's only 40 minutes from a place that I hang out in Parquet. Whereupon I found out all the people in Parquet were Haitian. I fell in love with this country. And in giving, it has to come from your heart. It's not from your mind, it's not from your pocketbook. It is something that touches your heart. And I arrived in Haiti and what I saw where it was devastating absolutely devastating. There was Sean Penn, myself, there were a whole group of us coming through the Clinton Global Initiative. And I said, it wasn't enough just to do what everybody else was doing. So what I saw was the artists of Haiti. Now, what we know in countries, the beauty and the creativity of Haiti is like any other country I've seen today. It's like being in Africa, but only a little, will, you know, what is it, two and a half, three hours away. The people, the sound, the music, the dancing, every single person is an artist. And that is what touched my heart. So I started working with the artisans there. I built a school for vocational education. I deal at Urban Zen with three things, the past, the present, the future. The past, preservation of culture. We're sitting here today with the preservation of culture. The present, healthcare. The first thing I had to do was to go to the hospitals. We sent our people to Haiti to work with the nurses and the doctors. My husband, who I had lost, said to me, Donna, whatever you do, take care of nurses. So we sent our Urban Zen Integrative Therapist Group to Haiti, and there I was, not speaking a word, doing Reiki, aromatherapy with all the nurses. And the next thing I knew, they were lined around the, whole, the hospital. I've never seen anything like this. Un unbelievable. And then education. Going to the schools, and I would say to the t kids, what would you like to do? And they were kind of like this, and you know, I want a basketball court. Uh, I want to play. I want to feel alive. So working in the schools there, we brought the art community in. So in the art community, meditation. What I'm trying to say in this long conversation, Haiti touches your heart, Haiti touches your soul. 
And yes, the future is our education. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willow Lane. It's the Wings Over Haiti 2021 event, and I am here with Jonathan Galinas, the founder of this fabulous organization, and he's going to talk about this event tonight. Now, tell my audience, this is a pretty important event. Two years have gone by almost since you were able to do your event because of COVID. So tell my audience what what is going on now. I know you're trying to add on another wing. Well, first of all, you're, you're very correct that we missed a year of fundraising last year. So that, that this event is so successful right now also means that people really wanted to get out and they remembered the event a few years ago. And, it, and it's money that's vital for our children and for the new school that we're building. So I'm really happy about it, you know. I'm also happy that I'm done giving my speech. Um, <laughs> that was the most important thing. Your nerves were, were on that speech that you had to give tonight. Was but it okay? It was spectacular. Oh, Are you kidding? It was spectacular. <laughs> and then you had Donna Karen, who I'm trying to get to come over and talk to us. But, but you're the main person. Uh, to answer your question, so we have a lot of, we have an art show by Folio East. Uh, Coco Myers uh, got 55 local artists to donate their work. We're hoping to sell through those. They're beautiful pieces. Uh, then we have the buddy program that we're encouraging. Uh, people can go to wingsoverhaiti.net. It's wingsoverhaiti.net and sign up or donate to Wings Over Haiti. And if they're interested in the buddy program, which sponsors a child through their education, uh, that would be a wonderful thing because it's something that's sustained and it gets the community involved with the school as it grows. So, um, Tell us about the programs in the school for the students. Well, the students, I mean, these are students, these are kids that they're lucky to even have a meal. So we learned by losing a student in our first school that we have to feed them twice a day and then they get a full, a really a, a wonderful education or, and recreation. And these are kids that go home and sleep on dirt floors or five to a bed, have homes that during the rains have to be rebuilt. and yet. By going in a uh, continuous way to school, they, they, they build skills, they learn uh, how to read and write, and they have the potential for a future and hope for an occupation, uh, so, which is we've already seen in our first school. It's a beautiful thing, you know. It certainly is a beautiful thing. You do so much hard work for these, these young Thank students. You. Thank you for your perceptive questions and, um, and coming back year after year. I wouldn't miss this for the world. But my three minutes are up and I have to kind of schmooze and get people to become buddies. I want you to tell my audience where we can go to find out more information about this organization, where we could support it. What is the website? Wingsoverhaiti.net. Fabulous. Let's toast. Cheers. Let's toast. Solo. Come back again next year. Give me an air kiss. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be back in a moment with more celebrity interviews. Keep watching. Peace, champagne, kiss. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac. dressed to impress one of a kind girl I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls I love to mingle though my husband reminds me I'm not single I meet and greet both the famous and the elite I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne wearing fur dazzling diamond jewelry a girl can't complain I live in upscale life, dining in the finest restaurants, eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I eat cognac, ooh, ooh, I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I've been a
Crybaby Productions, darlings.